Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be recording one manga day, a day in the life of manga translators. So, without anything else, let's just get started. Greetings, Ricky! You've got into the headquarters. We translate manga, and we must translate it faster and better than the potential enemies. Do you want to translate manga with us? Of course I do! I'm with you! Very good. We have a lot of work and helping hands are always needed. By the way, my name is Zlyby, the chief coordinator of the team. That's an odd name. And there goes Dex, one of the translators. Hello! We are the manga translators, yeah? Peace be with you, Kwai Nya. He is actually a pretty normal guy, but sometimes quite inadequate. Well, you cannot enter the headquarters yet. Follow me to the train base and I'll introduce you to the rest of the team. Here's our training room. Sometimes it's used as a working room. It could also be used as a dining room. It could also... Never mind! You'll figure out the full functionality of the room in Duke, of course. Lap. Lap, come here, please. Yeah, Libby? Is there something you need from me? Oh, you're the newcomer, right? Pleased to meet you. Well, now it'll be easy. Or it'll work, and we can make a lot more releases. By the way, how do you feel about creative existentialism? Blah. That's weird. That's a hard word. In the context of the impermanence of life. Uh, creative what? <laughs> oh, come on. You can only hee hee and ha ha, and no one can talk about serious topics. Hmm, I guess I have to personally demonstrate the manga translation process to you. Or are you already familiar with it? Nope, please tell me. First, the original manga is scanned and converted into digital form. The scanner is responsible for this. Next, the image must be cleaned of debris and old inscriptions. A cleaner will do this. Translations from one language into another can be done in parallel with scanning and cleaning. Usually translators compile the finished results in text file form. Then each translation is proofread to correct vocabulary, spelling, and other errors. Only the proofreader can do this. When the clean scans and proofread translations are available, the translation can be applied to the prepared images the typist is doing so. The last part of the work, overall quality control. This is the main beta reader's function. When did we get here? Only now you're free to roam down the hall and select a role for yourself. But remember that you can be trained by only three teachers. Um... Hmm. Let's see... don't know what to choose! Oi! We've met earlier. By the way, I'm not only a translator, but I'm also a scanner. Scanning doesn't sound that complicated, alright? Don't you just take a piece of paper, put it on the scanner, and press the button? But it's not as simple as you think. First, the volumes of the manga. It is not prepared as single pages. This is a whole book. To split the manga volume on single pages, you need to heat its spine with iron. You can't burn your manga, so you have to iron it gently with cheesecloth. Don't forget that the heated liquid glue will muck everything. Additionally, you only have to do scanning work on hundreds and hundreds of distributed pages. Each page is scanned individually, after all. If there is a paper source, it is necessary to make the highest quality scans to facilitate the cleaner's work. There are two types of scanners, CIS and CCD. You can find CIS since in cheap cost scanners and MFPs. CCD is more expensive models. Here are pixels from CIS, left one and CDD scanner, right one. I guess there's a little bit of a difference. Which image is better? I like the left one personally.
left or right one. Can't tell the difference, but we can look under the zoom. Now the difference is visible. See how we scanner just did not see the texture. While on CCD image you can even see the paper structure. Yes. This is especially helpful in the white feel on the right of the hand. Also the difference in the types of scanner sensors very visible on deformations. For example, if the book is not embroidered, here's a deformed sheet, for example. God damn! This image was obtained on a CIS scanner, blurring the deformed areas off. And here's the image on the CDD scanner. Deformation is approximately the same, but what a difference in the resulting picture. As you can see, the difference is the crook is very significant. Also, you should not forget to follow the file name and the scan orientation. Well, I've told you everything I know about scanning. Now all you need is practice. Oh, lap! You're so sweet. Come on, let's talk. Is this harassment? You're looking for trouble, huh? You need to get to work. Congratulations, education is over. Well, what do you want to become? Well, sorry, you don't appeal to us. You don't have enough diligence. Better luck next time. The scanning stage is most associated with the stages of cleaning and typing. By the way, some of our scanners can often be found in the canteen. Try to choose more suitable teachers. The machine seized control across the globe, and the people suffered greatly. To ensure victory for humanity, only one more pair of working hands was needed. Your own. Bad ending. I'm fine with that. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.